This plant is an annual plant and its growing season is kind of a little off kilter. A lot of things normally start in the spring, but this plant actually starts at this time of the year, the fall. And this is when we actually, we harvest it. We consider uh, this a gift from directly from the Creator. It was an indicator of uh, our salvation. And this wild rice has become a staple food, one of two staple foods that has taught us and enabled us to get through through those harsh winters. That's why it's important for us to make sure that this rice bed here is that, you know, we are instructed to take care of it. We're, we're in the final year of a, a research project with uh, the Army Corps of Engineers and looking at the impact of climate change uh, on these rice beds. The wind and the, and the rains um, limit the, the pollination in July when the flowers come out. And you can see kind of a yellowish thing over, over the water here. It, it, it's almost like, like, almost like an algae bloom. The technology has given us where we can actually do uh, continuous monitoring through various equipment we call loggers where we don't have to put what we call the boots on the ground and come out here once or twice or three times a week uh, to get the data. The tribe's intent was to maintain our identity because it's so important to us. Um, it is uh, one of those indicators in our migration from the East Coast. It was an indicator that we would find our new home. And it's been a staple food for us ever since our migration.